Meanwhile, President Obama calling for tighter gun control laws in this country. Bill O'Reilly responding to that. He's saying it's not the issue here. Here's Bill. I have a right to protect myself. All right? Because there are crazed animals like the guy in Oregon. There are people like that who will come after innocent people for no reason. And you're going to deny me protection if I live out in a rural area like Douglas County, Oregon, where the nearest cop is 40 miles away, I can't have a gun in the house to protect my family? Come on. Joined now by Julia Roginski, Fox News contributor and former political advisor to the late New Jersey Senator Frank Lautenberg. Tom Sullivan is host of the Tom Sullivan Show on Fox News Radio. Welcome uh, to you both of you. You know, here we are, here we are again, uh, essentially, and it is um, back to this discussion that immediately goes to gun control. The president came out right away and said, "Yes, let's politicize this issue." Um, he believes that we're not doing enough. There's a ton I, of laws on the book, I and was, some of the toughest laws on the books are in places like Chicago. Chicago, I was so stunned. I was absolutely stunned. I thought he was going to come out and say, let's say a prayer for the victims and their families or do something like that. He said our we thoughts did, and we prayers did are not, not even enough. Have, we had no information. We had very little information about what happened other than there was a shooting. But, but usually the president has this reputation of being professorial and very thoughtful and gives thought to everything. And instead he was angry. He was emotional. And if that's the way this man makes decisions, I'm more concerned than I was before. Did he jump? Did he jump the gun, so to speak, uh, Julie? I mean, you think back to the Henry Louis Gates moment when he came out right away, also very, you know, fired up in that moment, blaming the Cambridge police, saying that they did uh, basically a dumb thing. Uh, in the Michael Brown case, the Trayvon Martin case, very quick, very emotional um, to sort of, you know, it may express his feelings, deep feelings on these issues. But it has turned out in so many of these cases not to be exactly the way he saw it in the beginning. Well, first of all, I'm angry and I'm emotional and I think most people in this country are because this happens every other day. We have a mass shooting in this country and if that's not the time to talk about it, when is the right time to talk about it? It happens all the time. There's never a good time to talk about it because it happens no, consistently. Nobody's saying that you shouldn't. Every other day. Nobody's saying you shouldn't. It doesn't, doesn't, doesn't happen you all should, the time. Excuse me, there's a mass shooting in this country statistically every other day, if not every day. And and what I would say to you is yes, yes, and what, most of those are gangs on the weekend. No, and where's the president me, on Monday talking me, about the people Tom, that were more people killed last weekend than there were in Oregon? Tom, I think we all agree. You and I probably agree on this. That well, at least let me speak for myself. I can't speak for you. Yes, we do need more laws on the books. We need to close things like the gun show loophole. We need to ban these high caliber clips. Is it going to stop every murder? No. The, but the, but but I will say this to you. But I will say this to you. If I want to uh, blow up a dirty bomb in Times Square, am I, if I'm really committed to doing it, I might find a way to do it. But we have entire departments in this country dedicated to preventing so that from wait, happening, so but wait, we have nothing right, dedicated to have this but, but happening. That's, that, the president talked about that, too, about the tremendous effort against terrorism, um, and he said we need that. But he wants to see a tremendous effort against these kinds of killings. But I'm not, you know, he spoke after Sandy Hook about the sort of toxic cocktail that exists in so many of these individuals' minds, that it, it's a mental health issue, yep. it's an access to a gun issue, and we know that in many of these cases, these people you know, got their guns in, in, you know, a way that most of these laws would not prevent exactly. that are, that people are asking for. And, you know, the third issue is this, you know, violent video games issue, which was wrapped into that Sandy Hook discussion, and, and we continually see emerging again and again. Y you talk about the fact that nobody wants to talk about this. The mental health issue, nobody wants to talk exactly. about it. I'm happy to talk about that, it. Nobody no, 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 wants that to do it. But wait a second. It is the, the, in the, room it is the, the elephant in the room. Health. Can we walk and chew gum at the same time? Can't we address the mental health issue and also address the, the fact that we are... Well, we well, nobody's, addre nobody's addressing is, gun control the either. That's the problem. Is mental health. There's all kinds Absolutely. of ways to kill people, and huh. gun violence, by the way, is way, way down. If you take if you take a look at the FBI crime statistics, 80 percent of the gun, gun violence is gangs. It's not. What's your and, point? And the thing about schools What's your that point? you said, the, the the CDC says it's somewhere between 15 and 30 people are killed a year in some sort of mass killings in this country, Wait a and that uh, for the last 20 years it's been that average um, and that is smaller than Sweden, Switzerland, we, Finland. Wait a second, are you telling us that we have a lower rate of gun murder in this country than anybody else in the developed world? It's no, just not, not true. No, not everybody else, but it's a not number true. of other oh, countries. Oh, give me a break. Listen, the I'm, bottom... I'm reading yeah, I mean, the... I, 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 I don't mean to get the facts in 
no, 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 your facts are incorrect. But I will, your facts are 100% incorrect. I will give you some other facts. In places where we have, we have stronger gun control laws, we have lower rates of gun deaths. What and about that's Chicago, a fact. Julie? And that's a fact. That is what? a fact. No, Chicago. No, no, no. No. Chicago has very strict gun laws, as, as does Chicago. Washington, D.C. You can't and have a gun. Do you know where in those Chicago. guns are coming from in Chicago? Do you know where they're coming from? From places that have no well, gun control laws crack whatsoever. Crackdown and gun trafficking on all of it. commerce of guns. Crackdown, but you want to really do something. Ramp up mental health. You know as well as I, I do. Don't disagree. If you know somebody in your family that has a mental health issue, you can't get them help. Can you no, not? You can't. Can you not walk and chew gum at the same time? Can you not concede that we have well, a gun epidemic in this country and, and, and to walk and chew gum at the same time on we this mental health issue? We should attempt to do both. We should attempt to do both. Okay. We have gun what, they always say attempt. common sense gun That's laws. Attempt. What are those common sense gun laws? First of all, background checks for everybody. Not we already just, have that. No, we don't. I can walk into a gun show and I'm not mandated to have a background check. That is a falsehood. It's not a falsehood. I can give you statistics on that. I can buy stuff on the internet without having to have a background check. We gotta go. Give me a break. Come on, you know that. We gotta go. But, you know, time and time again, nobody sticks around to hear what happens later when we find out how these people got their guns. And time and time again, we find out that it was ways that none of, of yeah. you know, these well, then laws we, would, would have an impact. Throw our hands and wait for the next one to happen. Um, no, we don't want to wait for anything. We do want to get serious about mental health in this country because Big it's time. the combination of those issues that are the nexus that we see time and time again. Exactly. That's what the issue is. Um, and it, it seems to get lost in the shuffle yep. every time. Thank you very much, Tom and Julie. Good to have you here. Hot Let, stuff. Let's address it.